Welcome once more to the Trans Q&A, a group that's been on for three years now, and hopefully we can achieve the fourth year. Um, I know that we can't um, do this group every so often, like we used to, but at least it's still persevering and offering people to still communicate, talk afterwards, and ask questions to spirit. And that's what it's all about. So this week, I'd like to welcome Pauline's sister, June, and a God, God bless welcoming. And I thank Pauline for sending her in. Um, we're going to first start the Q&A with June doing the opening prayer this week. And then we're going to follow by the Q&A questions. And I hope everyone has a positive spirit tonight and feeling comfortable and warm and welcome into the group, because of course you are. So I'm just going to pass it now to you, June. Thank you. Divine Spirit, creator of all things, of all light and love, as we join together in this sacred space, we thank you for the opportunity that we have, for the freedom to meet in this way, to be able to speak openly and to be able to be at one, one with another. Thank you for the welcome in this group. And we ask that spirits stay with us, that our guides and helpers are around and about us, that our angels also come in to help, to share, to uplift, and to give that which is needed to all here present. Amen. Bless you, my child. Thank you for your lovely words that were spoken. The words of prayer comes from within. A prayer is spoken from the heart. Because when a prayer is spoken from the heart, it is spoken with love, and that love is shared to everyone throughout life. Many within life call upon the Father God, asking for help, asking for guidance, asking for healing, asking for understanding. The Father God, he hears the prayer. He hears the prayer that comes from the heart. Because he hears the beat. The beat is the sound. And the vibration of the love that goes throughout. So my sister, your prayer has been heard by many. It has been given with love. You speak of many things, the simplest of things within your prayer. And it is the simplest of things that has the most meaning. We ask for peace. You ask for peace. We all want peace so that we can unite as one within the material and within the spirit because you see each and every one when life is concerned was sent upon a journey into that of the material life to learn many lessons to find, to understand, to realize, to feel, to feel love, feel compassion, to give warmth, to give upliftment, to give a smile, everything that is given to man within life is given freely 
from the realms of spirit. And we will continue to do this. Because you see, when man within light calls from the heart through prayers, we understand that you are reaching out. You are needing the help. You are needing the guidance. And yes, from time to time, your loved ones will draw close towards you to make you aware that they are giving you the strength that you need to go forward within your life. They are giving you healing. They are taking time to say to you, I may no longer be of their body, but I am of your heart, and I hear every beat, and that is why I am close. So my sister, your prayer meant so much, and my brother, and my sisters that have come within the group. Yes, it has been quite a while since I have been able to come through the fist to bring words towards you. But it is always an honor. It is always a privilege to bring the words, knowing that you listen. And because you listen, you absorb. Because you absorb, it lifts you within. And it helps your spirit within to help you materially grow in the light, the light of love. Now, my friends, I know that Sephina, she is waiting to come to speak to you. But I do as my friends, when you speak of her, you speak loud and clear, so she is able to hear your words, so she can answer clearly to you. God bless you. Hello, my friends. It is very lovely to be here once again able to come and speak to you. Yes, it has been quite a while, but I've enjoyed the rest, and I'm sure that you have as well. But I hope that in the time that you have had, away from doing your questions and answers, that you have been looking for the truth of spirit, because spirit of Dikotasia because Spirit Divine attends all prayers, and they do. You have just heard our brother speak, and he spoke of prayer, prayer from the heart. You know, my brothers, sisters, when I come forward, I come because I feel honored. I feel privileged to come to speak to each and every one of you. Because you are all seeking the knowledge of eternal life. You are seeking that of wanting to help man within life. So that you know how you can help them on their journey and through their darkness. And help them to come to the light. You do not realize just by being. Here within this lovely group, when you sit within your silence, your thoughts go out to that of the spirit realms. And where your thoughts are being sent, the angels listen and they send it where it is necessary to go. You know, my friends, I always find it uplifting for myself when I come forward, when I can speak to you, when I hear your words, because everything that is said 
is set with meaning. Seek you shall find, as you will receive, and knock and the doors will open. Now, my friends, I am waiting to hear your words of your questions, and I will do what is necessary to give the answers to you. God bless you. Good evening, sister. Hello, my brother. Long time. Your words, when I hear your voice, it helps me to become stronger within myself. I was telling Elaine that today, to be honest, just before the trans Q&A began. My brother, I did not hear your words. I was telling my sister Elaine that before the trans Q&A began and the Zoom, that that's how it works. Because I know that you link with my energies and it just confirms what you just said there. Is what I was saying earlier. You are sent for a purpose. And you doubt yourself many times. But you never should. Never should. Because you have got much to do for spirit. Thank you, sister. Well, well I'm looking forward to this. And I know that you are as well. The first person on the list is our sister, Kate. I'm just going to mute you now, Kate. There you go. Thank you. Good evening, Sister Safena. Hello, my dear. It is beautiful once again to hear your voice. You do not realise. Just the vibration of your voice brings a lot of love out to the world. But you bring a lot of joy to me. I hope that you have been well and you have enjoyed your rest through the period of the season of goodwill. Yes, I have enjoyed my rest. But what is your question, my dear? My question is, I'm going to do a, a not nice one first. Recently, I went, my friend goes with me to the hospital when I need to go. And on the way home, we had to ask for directions from the GPS in the car to get around the roadworks in this big city. Normally, the, this machine answered you back and it answered you back in a female voice. But to our utmost shock and horror, a very horrible, creepy, very low, sinister voice spoke, and it was very threatening. It was awful. It was so bad, I pulled over to the side of the road, and my friend dropped a machine that's telling us the way, and we couldn't move for five minutes. It was awful. Very, very frightening situation. What could this be? Do you have an idea? My chair. Let me explain something to you. Spirit divine works in many ways, but you must also understand when you go into an area such as an hospital, you do not know what entities are hovering mm. around. You see, you do not realize what people do within their material life. And some will go to what you call the darkness. So I will say to you, when you was making your journey away from that of the hospital, you was hearing upon that machine that gives you the guidance, the sound of a dark entity that very briefly came with you, but went away as just as quick you understand. You heard that of a voice that you could not explain. You see, the dark entities will attach wherever they can. But you, my dear, was very lucky because you had that 
of a strong gate. You had that of a strong doorkeeper that took you away from it. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Yes. My child, please. Over the many years that you have been within what you call your spiritualism, you have had that of the darkness come upon you from others just because you are one that is full of light does not mean to say that the darkness will not detect in one way or another. But you have to make sure that your doorkeeper is working alongside you. You must make sure that your doorkeeper is giving you what is necessary but your guide will be aware. You understand? Right. I will do that. I will make sure I do that. Thank you. A beautiful child. And we would not want anything or anyone to bring darkness into your life when all you give is peace, give harmony, and give love. It is important to stay strong. And know that you are well protected, you understand? Yes, yes. What is your other question, my dear? My other question is, I just need some guidance. Since we last spoke, um, I haven't, I've been very busy concentrating on my health. And with help from the hospital, I'm exceedingly much better. In that time... Um, I really, really haven't meditated or anything, but I've made an enormous shift and um, I can now astrally go where I want in the evenings when I go to bed. Um, there are thousands of coincidences in my life and some days I just move from one coincidence to another, to another, to another. It's wonderful. I'm also... I feel very open to the universe and I go there when I'm traveling at night. Um, but I'm far away from the path that I, th I feel as if I'm far away from the path that I should really be on. I'm not sure because I'm enjoying this too much. Um, can you suggest what my next move should be? My child, I cannot say to you what your next move will be. I will tell you, my dear. I have been watching over you for quite some time. I have seen up your tears. I have felt the anger that is within yourself. You did not feel at peace within yourself. No, I didn't. You found yourself being lost. And because of this, you called to spirit, you called to your guide, and you said to them, please, show me the way forward. Help me to find what is for me, not only in front of me, but around me. And at this moment, you are found peace. You are found peace and that is why you are taken on your journeys. The past is the past. You say that you have confusion. Well sometimes my dear to go through your journey of life you have to go through the confusion to sort out what is meant for you to do and how you to fight your strength so that you can go forward in night, finding the joy within yourself. You are finding that the mind and body is being as one, and because it's as one, you're finding a happiness come within you. You understand? Yes, yes, I do very much. My child. There is so much for you to do and so much for you to gain. Do not worry. Trust. Trust 
in your guide, trust in your helpers, but most of all, trust your own inner spirit. That is where you'll see the goodness. God bless you. Thank you, Sister Safena. Thank you. Thank you. The next person on the list is lovely Sherry Ann. It's been a long time or so, a few months. So I hope that you can ask some good questions to Sister Sabena and get all the answers you deserve. Thank you, Kyle. Good evening, Sister Sabena. And how are you? I am very fine, thank you, my child. I am going through many changes myself at this moment of time. I have been told that I am to reconnect with that of the elders to go within the school of learning so that I may gain greater knowledge of the modern way of life. Because you see, my child, I too, like you, I am learning much and I need to find the directions you understand. I do so indeed. you see, my child, I am well, and I hope that you are within yourself. I am, I'm well, and as expected, and uh, yes, I feel I'm making progress. That is beautiful, may my child. May I ask a question, Sister You Samara? may, my dear. Can you tell us uh, what to expect when we make our transition, where we actually go? What is What should we expect? My child, that question has been put forward many times in a different way to that of spirit. When you leave up the physical body, you do not get into a taxi that takes you to London. You do not get upon a plane that takes you to that of China. When you leave up the physical body, and I speak of the spirit, you understand. Your yes. spirit within will go forward with your guide that has come to help you because you have left up the physical body and you are taken forward. You are taken first of all into that of an area where you have to be shown of how your journey within life has been. Many will call this the spiritual hospital because remember the spirit within has felt the pain of the physical body and has to realize that what they felt is no longer within the spirit. Then once this has taken place, your guide will lead you forward, further into that of the realms of spirit. The realms of spirit is a vast place and we do not give it any other name apart from the land of the living. Because you see, when you leave of the body, the body is dead, the spirit is living, and that goes forward, and that of your living thoughts goes back to that of time where you will be connected with your loved ones that have gone before you. Many times the question has been asked, when you die, where do you go? I will tell you, once you go into the realms of spirit where your loved ones are waiting, you go to the happiest of times when you was in the body and there you grow there you find your joy and it is there you will stay until you are called 
and ask by that of the elders to go forward where you must learn to understand more of your journey. You understand? Yes, I do. Thank you. I try it. Let me tell you, reassurance is a good thing. Questioning is always the wisest thing to do. Because when you ask, you receive. And when you receive, you understand. And it helps you to grow more with inside yourself, physically and mentally. You understand? Yes, I do. Thank you. Do you have another question, my dear? Yes, thank you, Sister Savannah. Um, the reason I ask that question is because I can read loads and loads of things about when one makes transitions from a book, but I'd rather have the reassurance from direct spirit. So thank you so much. My child, may I just come to you in this way? Yes. The modern way within life is to read a box and to go upon what you call the iPad and computers to gain knowledge. Let me explain to you. Books are written by men mm. and they cannot tell you truly what death is and where to go, how it is to be. Because you see, if they wrote the books, they have not experienced because they are still living and the only truth you find is by the experience of leaving the body. You understand? Yes, I do. Thank you. Yes. God bless you, my child. Um, I do have a second question, Sister That is quite Sopana. all right, my dear. <clears throat> I've had to write it down so I can remember it. If someone ends their life by their own hand, are they judged on this or do they judge themselves and how do they make it right? My child. You are asking a question that has been asked many, many times to that of spirit. When one takes up their own life, it's because they are troubled. They have troubled minds. And they are ones that need the healing. But man within life, does not understand the true feelings of one that is suffering. They say they do, they say they can, they say they will, but they do not. So one that is very confused and hurting within their hearts, their minds, their thoughts, they decide the world is no longer a journey they want to go upon. They want to leave and go forward into the realms of spirit. Many within life who say they go into limbo because they are not allowed to go into the realms of spirit. How dare they say those words? Because you see, again, they do not understand that God welcomes all into the realms. That of the elders welcomes all into the realms. The loved ones that have gone, they welcome all into the realms. No one is told you are not allowed to enter. You see, once you come into the realms of spirit, they've learned a lesson. They look at their past lives and they see what they have gone through. They see how many times they too, at time to time, would like to have left the physical body but did not. 
And because of that, he tells them to understand that when one has taken the life by their own hands, they should have been there. Man should have been there. Love should have been given. So no one is ever turned away. No one ever goes into limbo because that is not true. You understand? I do understand, Sister Savannah, and thank you for that. It's just that um, I have had someone who took their life, and I don't believe he meant to do it. Um, and yes, he was troubled. I have another friend um, here on this earth plane who has, who wants to end their life so that they can join their partner in spirit who's already gone into spirit. And this causes me great hurt, great pain in my heart. My child, that happens many times. That is not because they are ill within their mind. Their hearts are broken. Their mm. hearts are broken because the love that was between the two was strong. They was connected as one. And now they are feeling empty. They are feeling lost. This is the time for man within life to listen, show compassion. Yes. Do not feel pity. Do not feel that of sorrow for them. Explain to them, although their loved one is no longer, they should be thanking the good Lord for allowing them to be together as one. And because they are being together as one, they have become stronger together as one. They should look at their memories. They should look at their happy times. They should look at their children and grandchildren. And that will help them to understand. Yes, I am empty. My heart is broken. But I must now. For the loved one that has gone, be strong for them to show the love where it is necessary to those that are left behind. You understand? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. God bless you, my dear. Bless you. Thank you, Sister Savannah. The next person on the list is Pauline. I'm just going to mute you now, Pauline. There you go. Hello. Hello, my dear. It is lovely to hear your voice and see your beautiful smile. <laughs> that smile is worth much because a smile lifts the heart and it puts away that of the difficulties that are in the mind. So, my dear, thank you. It is always a lovely honor to see that smile. What is your question, my dear? Bless you. <laughs> um, well, I just thought I would mention following on from Kate's experience that wasn't so nice. I unfortunately had not nice experiences when I was very ill with meningitis in hospital many years ago. And... Um, it caused me a lot of distress for a very long time as, and I was very weak so couldn't really do a great deal but I know spirit helped me an awful lot and then with my own learning and understanding that I gained from it they could no longer interfere with me but it I've always questioned why I've had to go through that experience even though I've learned from it and have helped some people as well. So maybe that was the reason, possibly. My child, 
Let me explain something to you. If you do not go through that of the difficulties of the darkness, how would you understand of the feelings of someone that is going through the same as yourself? You have heard many times being spoken. God works in mysterious ways and his wonders he does perform. You see, my dear, my child, you have to go through that darkness within yourself. You have to feel, you have to understand that if this did not take place with you, you would not have reached out to spirit. You would not have called for guidance. And spirit would not have understand the difficulties you were going through. So you have to go through that, my child, a lesson learned. And when you learn a lesson and you understand of others within your life that is going down through that of the darkness within themselves, as you have done, you can sympathize with them. You can understand them. You can show compassion. And you can give love and guidance and healing. You understand. So my yeah. child, spirit was working with you and for you. But a lesson that you understand. Yes, I do. It just took, because I was so very weak, it took, a number of years, you know, I'm talking about really before, you know, it eventually sort of left me. Um, obviously, in that time, I was getting stronger through spirit helping me. Um, but, you know, being very weak for all those years, it it was very hard, you know, and it was quite frightening for me. Let me explain something to you. How can you climb a ladder unless you are at the bottom? When you are at the bottom, which is your lowest, when you are at your weakest, you cannot fall any further. So with the help and the guidance of spirit, they led you symbolically to the ladder. And they helped you slowly but surely to put each foot upon the step so that you was to grow within that of the healing to your body, to your mind. So you became stronger within your body and your mind so that you was able to say, I have been in my darkness, I've been in my lowest. I will never go back again. But when I see others at the bottom of the ladder, I will be the first, the first one there to guide them. You understand? Yes, I do. Bless you. For a child, my dear, but please forgive. As you have come out of the darkness, spirit have grown with you. You have become a healer within your life. A gift that was given many years ago to you when you was born to the world. But it was through the darkness you found the strength. You found your gift and you work with it. You understand? Yes, I do. That's very true indeed. Yes, bless you. <laughs> You're welcome. Do you have another question, my dear? Uh, yes. Um, I was going to ask you, if, if I'm allowed to ask you this, because my eyes are so very, very dry, I cannot cry So, because I have no tears. So it gets very hard for me sometimes when the emotions perhaps overwhelm me sometimes. I can't really release them by perhaps what shedding a few tears would help. My so, dear, is, let me explain to you. Yeah. When you have your emotions and you want to cry, 
Mm. Not always do the tears need to be shed. When you have your emotions and you feel the need with Kitosia and you feel the need within you to cry, you cry inwardly. And you know when you cry inwardly, you are letting out from your spirit within that of all that is being held within you. The eyes of man is only to see. <laughs> the tears are only that of the moisture that has built within that of the tear duct. And sometimes the tear ducts will dry up within man. So tears of the waters do not get seen. And you say, I'm not crying. But you're crying inwardly. You're feeling the emotions. You're releasing the stress. That is the most important thing of all, my dear. Let me explain to you. Where man is concerned, you have what you call the doctors and the surgeons. You have those who turn and say, I understand of this that is wrong and that that is wrong. But you know, my dear, if there is no cure, there is no cure. But they do not say to you, although there are no tears, you can still cry. And that is the most important thing of all, you understand? Yes, yes. I have tried to do that, what, what you're saying. Um, it's just, I suppose, I find it hard to know that I am actually releasing that emotion because, you know, the, like you always feel like if you have a good cry, then, then you have definitely released it. So it, it's a different sort of... I understand you, my child. I really do understand what you are saying. Because, you see, until the ailment came upon you, you was able to let your emotions come out through tears. No, and right. once those tears had fallen, mm. you was able to feel the release of the tension within you. Mm. But, you see, the tear ducts are just part of a function of the body. It's known that once you cry inwardly, you are releasing from your spirit the tension that has built within yourself. And once you understand, then you'll find peace within yourself. You understand? Yes. Yeah, yeah, bless you. Thank you. Yeah. You are welcome, my child. <laughs> Thank you very much. The next person on the list is now Elaine, so I'm just going to pass it now on to to Elaine. Hello, Sister Savannah. It's lovely to speak to you again. And now, my child, would you please speak? I can very little hear of you through the vessel. Yes, I'll come a bit closer to the speaker. So my first question is, Savannah, I was just... I'm wanting to understand a situation that's going on at the moment um, and it's caused me a lot of hurt, a lot of sadness and a lot of anger. Um, and yeah, I'm just, the good thing is, the lovely thing is that I got to hold my niece for the first time last week, but the just behavior and actions of somebody that I love very much is really yeah. hurtful and I'm just I'm just wondering if you, you're able to help me understand it or and also help me and I, I just want to let be able to let go of this because I just feel that I get really angry really upset and I can't it's the first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning and it's just like a, this this big shadow over everything 
My child, let me explain something first and foremost to you. I will not expand too much because this is of a personal nature, but I do understand your anguish, and I do understand this. Because you and a member of the family have always been very close, and you love each other dearly, a situation has arisen and you feel that you have been pushed to one side, that you are no longer part of the love. Let me explain to you, my child. The situation is this. Where the member of family is concerned, he is walking on the rugged road. It is a lesson that he has got to learn to live well until he finds himself within. You see, my child, you say, I saw my niece for the first time. Your heart was raised. You see, the child is part of your generation of that of the genes with them and because it's part of it will always be part of your life it will not be away from you where that of the member of the family is concerned always remember men within life can become too big for their own boots and sometimes they think they are clever because the boots are strong and I can go forward and I can do what I like. But sometimes the laces of the boots become undone and they end up tripping up and falling over. And it's when they hit the ground, they realize I need to get up. But who's going to give me the helping hand? Who's going to be there to give me the strength? Who is going to be there to show me the way? You. You will be because the love cannot, will not break. It is all a learning curve. It is part of the lesson to learn. Do not turn their back, even though words will be said to you, I close the door upon you. They truly do not mean it. You understand? I do understand, and thank you for that, Sopena. Um, just... You are such a beautiful young lady, and you should not be going through this particular time, the difficulties that you are. But you see, remember what was spoken to you many, many times. A true medium has to suffer because if you do not suffer, how can you help others that are going through the same difficulties as yourself? And this is how you will be able, with that of the aid of spirit and your guide, to help others with their life. You understand? I do understand, and that has crossed my mind. Um, so I'm but no, thank, thank you so much for that. May I say something to you? And I say this in the most sincere way. The young man whom you sit next to, you may not think that he is helping you, but he is. He's giving you support that is needed. He is giving you that of guidance. He's giving to you that of strength. He is not a strong man within himself but he puts all his strength to you. 
with the aid of spirit to help you to raise yourself out of the darkness and into the light. You understand? I do, and I'm very blessed to have them with me. What is your other question, my dear? My other question leads on from the last question a little bit. Um, I had a relaxation just the other night, um, but I set the intention there was a horse that's not been very well at the yard that um, I keep my horse at. So I wanted to send the healing intentions and ask the healing angels to draw close to this horse. Um, but I really struggled because of all the situation um, to really focus on the horse. Um, and so other things were coming into my mind. So I was just wanting to ask, does that affect... Maybe, maybe not for myself as I'm developing, but does it can that affect healing being given if you're no. not, if you can? No. Just because you have your difficulties of life placed in front of you, when you went into your relaxation, spirit came towards you. They shown you a vision of a horse that is in need of healing. Automatically, as a healer to that of the animals within life, you sent the healing out. And that of the healing angels were right at the side of you. They was taking all that energy and were placing where it is necessary. Do not think, because of the difficulties of life, you cannot learn to give healing, that you cannot help to learn how to link and connect with spirit. We understand more than you will ever realize, but we do work in the ways that the God will want to use you, even if it is just as though through the thought it is like a wind that's passing you by. We absorb it all, you understand. I do. Thank you, Sabina. You Thank are you one, my much. child that will be used in many ways. Reach out, reach out and let spirit take your hand to give you the strength that is necessary at this moment of time, spiritually and materially, you understand? I do, thank you so much, bless you. God bless you. Thank you. I'm next on the list, sister. But I'm going to just unmute Jill, just in case she has any questions. Um, I don't and really have a, have a question. As would that. you like to speak freely to Svenna? <coughs> yes, please. Yeah. You I can wish. absolutely do whatever you wish. Just Thank talk you. as the person you are. So I'm just going to Thank allow you. Jill to speak to you, sister, if that's okay. Hello, Savannah. I have heard like so much about what is you. your question, please? I don't I don't really have a question. I just wanted to say thank you for all the help you've given to my sister um for her upliftment and her healing. For the last few years it's been incredibly difficult for her. And I really appreciate the work that you have done um, with the spirit friends to help her, you know, in her day to day life. And I will, of course, ask you to continue with that in, in the future for her. But I'm, I'm very grateful to meet you because I've heard so much about you from my sister. My um, child, so please it, forgive me question. interrupting as you were speaking. Sorry. First and me. foremost, it is an honour, it is a privilege to hear the words that you have spoken. But I, the spirit of Savannah, have done nothing apart from help 
with words of wisdom and guidance. Where your sister is concerned, it is that of her healers, it is that of her guide, it is that of you that has been giving strength through words of wisdom. It is you that is being given healing. It is you that is strong within yourself that is helping her to move forward. You see, we within spirit, we can hear words. We can also hear the questions and we can give the guidance. But it's your spirit within you and you as a being, as the connection of love between the two, you have helped each other. That you must realize and you should. Thank yourself for what you have been doing. Thank you. But I also thank you as well because I know. Well, thank you, my you child. Such upliftment. It's been, you know, yes, very well appreciated. Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> well, may I again interrupt? You yes. see, my dear, you understand of the words. God works in mysterious ways. And he does. Many do not realize those words. It is the mysterious, the unknown. How does he do it? How will he do it? He will use anyone or anything to show, to give that of the understandings that the spirit realms do not neglect and we always take care of our own as we take care of you you understand i do thank you yeah god bless you my you. child god bless you i hope i'm able to speak to you again at another time it Thank is you always a welcome and a privilege, my dear, for all within life to come to speak as long as I am allowed to come and use the vessel who I have found, one that is being worthy to work through. You understand? I do, yes. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Okay, it's my turn to ask two questions, sister, if that's okay with you, but then anyone else can ask afterwards if they wish. I know you're thinking about something. What is your question, my brother? Um, so, the elders see a vision and it's been set in stone for centuries, to be honest. And there's a path of spirituality for everyone. Um, I'm just asking this question. Who am I involved in this path? Am I like a part of it or am I something against it? And that's a realistic question because sometimes in the spiritual movement, you do meet people that are into the spirituality, but then they're actually against the cause of what the elders have wanted for the world. My brother, you do not realize from the day that you took your first breath before you started to open your eyes, your guide was placed to connect with you. You was actually shown your path and your journey within life, materially and spiritually. I cannot lie to you, my brother. I will not lie to make you feel good within yourself. The truth I will speak with inside yourself you have seen what you call the spiritual movement yeah. where some are true 
to spirit and some muffins, and it makes you question which is the right way. Because when I see those that truly connect with spirit, I wish to be the same. But when I see those that are false, I do not want to believe, I do not want to try to get close. Listen to my words. Where life is concerned, you have to remember each and every one that's born to the world, they have the gift. They have the gift. But you have to remember, many are picked, only few are chosen. There are those who say, I am a spiritualist. But they do not always connect because you have those who work materially and are materially. You have those who try to work spiritually but cannot connect so they are still material. And then you have those that open their hearts, open their souls to the spirit within and connect truly with spirit. You, my child, are a gift child, the true one. You have been chosen, but you are the one that has to connect truly to spirit within yourself. Because you see, my brother, you understand as I bring these words towards you. Any man within life can work on what they call the psychic vibration, which means they work on the vibrations of energy of the living. You work with spirit, you have proven it, my brother, because you see it isn't always about seeing, it's about the sensing, it's being made aware of. And then you hear the thoughts that come into your mind. They are not your thoughts. That is spirit using your thoughts to speak the words. You are wiser than you realize, my brother. And I can tell you this. The one thing you must do, which you are not doing at this moment, is to reconnect with Raoul. You need to trust him more, bring him closer to you, so that even though you may not have your meditation, they can ease the mind. And even if the mind is cleared for just a brief time, that is how spirit can work with you. So, my child, there is a journey for you. There is a path for you to take. But what you must learn, even though you see those that are not true to spirit, you must not let the anger come within you to cause the bitterness within you. You understand? I understand, sister. And I will say this. I have failed my brother Raoul. I have not allowed him to come close to me in the sense of I've had my own life being in a completely different way to what it was and I know he's there it's just that I don't choose to reach out to him in the sense of spirituality if I could physically reach out to my guide I would reach out to him but I've let the material Come really strong into my life and I know he's always there I have a sense I have a feeling I know he's wanting to reach out to me it's just where I stand sister this is my que second question this leads on to the second question um, where it comes to life sister 
um, I've had a difficult upbringing and lifestyle, so I'm trying my best to fit in in the material world. And where it comes to spirituality, I've kind of tried to focus on where I can get through life. I'm just wondering where it comes to my guides and my loved ones in spirit. I'm just wondering if it's true that I can do something for spirit in my future, even if it's with Elaine, can I be the one to help spirit? Because how I see it, and this is how I feel, sister, I feel that there's so many billions of people in this world that can serve spirit, and I feel like they're better than me. And that's being humble. Okay. I feel like... My brother, no one is better than any other within life. You have just said many things, and I will tell you. Raoul understands how your journey of life is taking you at this moment of time. I can tell you, my brother, if you look back upon the time you first started, your quest and answer. I said to you then, you have a material life and a spiritual life. You must grow within your material as well as your spiritual. You cannot take your spiritual and push away the material. You have a journey of life. You must live that life. Raoul understands that you have taken that journey at this moment of time. And when the time is right, brother, he'll understand when he must come once again closer to you because you will reach out. As to regards our sister, you say even if it means with our sister, let me tell you, what has been said many times towards you, you too have been brought again to Tokitira. You have been brought again to each other so that you can grow spiritually together. You are helping each other, even though you may feel I am only doing material. You are also helping the spiritual. And she is growing within herself with your guidance. So, brother, listen. Listen to what I say to you now. You have a journey within life. You have one of a road to walk. You will achieve. You will succeed. But you will work and work hard. But you will achieve to find the truth within spiritually and materially you understand i understand sister it's just um with the population of the world and where i am in life at the moment because i'm only 27 um i always wonder is there someone better and i always feel like there is someone better and that's true the elders obviously feel like they can obtain more spirituality out of someone other than myself. But the biggest question on my mind is not that. It's more so, can I offer to spirit? Am I worthy to give my intellect and knowledge? Am I strong enough? Am I disciplined enough? Am I willing to go through all the heartache and the pain in order to express spiritual truth to other people? And that's yes, the biggest yes, question. Let me explain once again to you. You say, am I worthy? Yes, you are. Then you said, but there are people that are higher than me, better than me. Mm. Yes, there are. But yeah. what you must remember, those that are better and higher than you are no better than you, but you can attune yourself 
to that vibration and you can raise yourself to aspire to their understandings. You have so much knowledge within you, my brother, that you have not yet let out because yes. <laughs> there is so much that you can share, so much you can do. Everything comes to those who wait. And when the time is right, you will understand why I have spoken these words toward you. Oh boy, sister, I can't wait, but will, will you be by my side in the future? Bless you, my brother. What was those words you spoke? I'm just wondering whether you'll be by my side in the future. Oh dear. <laughs> you who do not listen to remember the words, my brother, you hear what you want to hear. I came through the vessel many times to say to you, I have spoken to the elders. When I leave of this physical body, I have already requested that I work alongside you and through you so that you know that you are able that you are comfortable to go forward. You see, my brother, you do not pick who comes. We in spirit see the gifted child that we want to work with, and you have been chosen. Thank you, my sister. I'm going to now ask the group if they would have any final questions to our sister. If you can raise your hand now and just speak honestly. sherry Pauline, um, Kate, or Jew? Wait, I'll just unmute you, Kate. Would you like to be on the list, Kate? No, thank you. Okay. What about you, June? No, I'm I'm quite happy, thank you. Bless you. What about you, Lily? You're okay as well. Right, so I'm going to now go to Sharia. I'm just going to mute you now, Sharia. There you go. Thank you, Kyle. Good evening again, Sister Savannah. Oh, bless you, my child. What um, is your question, please? We did talk about the vessel and I talked about um, philosophy and the lack of it in our churches today what my question is where do i look to to gain philosophy um do i look out into nature do i look into our learned poets of the past like longfellow uh Shakespeare, etc. I, I, because I My love God. philosophy. Philosophy comes within. Let me explain something very important to you. You spoke of someone called Shakespeare. Shakespeare, yes, was a writer, but he only wrote that of what he could feel within himself. He was one that only spoke of his feelings and it was placed into writing and then it was put into place. That is not philosophy, that is that of words through acting. Let me explain to you, philosophy, my child, is a very simple thing. You speak of your feelings, the feelings within. So I will say to you these words. You walk into a field and you are taking an animal a dug for a walk. And as you are walking through the field, you can see how the farmer, he's plowed the field. 
you can see which way that he has taken the tractor. You can see how he has turned his heater, turned the soil over after planting the seed. And you can say, this is a wonderful sight to see because you see the tractor has managed to turn that of the soil and managed to bring that of a groove within where the seed could be placed so that once the soil is once turned over, you can see of the growth. You see, I can see the seed now. I can see of the shoot. I can see of the root. I can see how the wind blows upon. And I can see all the beauty that has been placed before me, that is being placed by that of a gift of God. And he gave it to me freely because all that I did was take a dog for a walk. You understand, my child? Yes, I do. Thank you. Philosophy, my dear, is in everything. You may stand before many within the service and say, Do you know, my friends, I stood at my back door and I was looking out to the back garden and I could see beautiful flowers but as I saw the flowers I could see of the bees that was buzzing from one flower to another and it was taking up the nectar to spread to another to give it strength I could see that of the beauty of that of the butterflies that was flying this is a gift from God. Isn't it lovely, friends, to have such a beauty place before you? Again, that is philosophy. It did not come from within the book. It came from within your sight, your vision, your feelings. You understand, my child? I do. Thank you. And thank you for answering that, Sister Sabena. You thank are you. welcome, my child. You thank have you. another question, my dear? Comment, thank you. A pleasure. Pauline's yes, next on the list, sister, if that's okay. Oh, I'll just unmute you now, Pauline. Sorry, it's been a while. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. Well done, my child. Mm. What is your question, my dear? Well, as I ask this, please, I don't want you to feel that I disrespect you because I don't. But a few months ago, I was told I needed a second operation on my arm and I spoke to you about it, but you spoke that the answer came straight from the elders and it would be keyhole surgery. This was not the case, however, as they reopened my arm, um, took out the plate and replaced it to a larger plate and a new bone graft. And they also had to take more bone away. So it, it's left me, so I've been pondering as to why you thought it would be keyhole. My child, you see, you ask a very important question. But you did not realize that what was being given to you was symbolic. You see, my dear, we do not always give to you the words you want to hear. When you say, from the elders, they spoke to me to say, there will be what you call the key all surgery that will take place. The reason that was spoken to you, my dear, is because symbolically 
key or surgery is not that of a dangerous open heater operation. It is one that can be done without causing great harm, you understand. So yes. you see, my child, although the words that was given to you, you took it in the material sense that it was to be a surgery of the own. What the symbol was is that it was not a dangerous procedure. You understand? Right, okay. Well, bless you for that because, you know, I have to be honest and my it, child. Has, it has been sort of on my mind, you know. So. You must always question because, you see, when you do not understand of an answer that is given, don't just accept, question it, doubt it. And when you get the chance, speak of it like you have just done. You see, my child, I will explain to you the way that I am speaking at this moment of time through the vessel. Many times within that are coming forward, not only through this vessel, but the vessels that I used once before. There are many symbolics that was brought, helping man to understand, understand that of spirit. It is, it is not always the words you want to hear. You have to understand that the symbolics that are brought from spirit as well. So there are much for you to learn, my dear, but I do thank you. And I thank you sincerely for being honest, for asking the question for me to explain to you. Yeah, bless you. Thank you very much. Bless you, my child. Yeah. You know, that's what spirituality is about, where you can be yourself, speak yourself, and express yourself. And that's what this group's about. You get the spiritualist churches these days where you withdraw inside and you can't talk about the feelings you have inside. And that's where Silver Birch, I mean, if you thought about World War II, people were asking questions about World War II. That's near enough the end of the world to most people. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's good to talk to spirit. It's good to validate. It's good to query it's good to question and that's what it's all about really oh did i get that wrong sister no my brother you see if you understand i come back once again to questions that was asked before come by you must always question you must always doubt you see we are in the realms of spirit. We are shown things. We are told things. And many times we speak in the way that the young lady has just asked, and I explain symbolically. Because you see, sometimes we have to make sure that man within life searches for the truth of spirit. If everything was placed in front of you and you said that is right, that is right, that is right, you would not question it. Yes, so you have to. Good. So I thank the lady. She has not offended me at all because I am being privileged to have someone to speak openly and say, I did not understand and that is why I respect you my child for what you have done bless you bless you very much yeah. you are welcome my dear that shows a true spiritual being God bless you bless you so I'm going to now pass the last questions on to Elaine
unless anyone else likes to raise the hand now while trans q and is going. <laughs> they would like to ask their final questions as well. I'll add you on the list. Just raise your hand. Nope. <laughs> Type in chat if you want to ask anything, but I'll now pass it on to Elaine and then we'll call the trans Q&A and bring back the vessel. Hello again, Sister Safana. I love my child. Um, so my question is, um, just, just in case I don't manage to speak to you for a little while, my question is, um, well, I had an, ex had an experience when I was working with, well, before I started um, trying to help the horse, and there was, there was like a purple flash on the neck, and I thought, okay, and I just started working away, um, and when I got to that area, the horse completely, the head and neck came down, and it was like she was sleeping. She was really relaxed, so that was that was lovely. So that gave me, um, what you call it, confirmation, if you like, that that saw that that purple color flash on the neck, um, but I was just wondering if there's anything, if you have any guidance going forward, um, how I could, how I could um, work towards a bit more um, with the healing for the animals. Um, and I'll also say that I had a conversation on the phone with the vessel last week and he did ask me, um, what, what is your plan for this year? And I was like, what, what do you mean? And he said, well, what, what do you want to do with your healing and what do you, what are you thinking about with your healing? So I was just going to ask you some guidance on that. My child, I will answer that very clearly to you. So first of all, close. I will answer the question that you have just asked by speaking of the vessel. Because you see the vessel, when he works with that of spirit and his eyes are open he sees a symbol of a light it is like that of a silver thread that is in front of him and it looks as though it is being unwind and it goes directly to the being within light that is in need of the spiritual help or guidance, you were shown of that of the creature of the horse. You were shown of a light of a colour that was saying to you, the colour of the purple is a strong healing colour. And because you saw it, you placed your thoughts and your hand toward the area and the horse within its wisdom could feel what you was giving and it was receiving. So you see, the way forward for you, my child, is this, to progress with that of the spiritual healing towards the creatures within life, whether it be of a cat, or a dove, whether it be of a horse or whether it be of a cow. Look, look at the creature first and see if you see any colours because it does not always mean that you will see the purple. You can see, say, that of the gold, a gold that is that of love that is being shown that that of the creature just needs a hug and because of that it will bring healing within you understand I do open understand. thine eyes that I may see the glimpses of truth thou hast for me open your eyes and you will see what you once saw before and you will work accordingly and progress. You understand? 
I do. Thank you, Safena. And that's um, very, well, I'm not going to say it's not simple advice, but I am quite guilty of just diving in there and just start putting my hands all over the horse without looking <laughs> properly at the bigger picture before I start. So that is, um, I will take that on board and thank you very much. My child, that is your way forward. You see, I will explain. Not all men that are healers can see of the colors of the light. Not all can feel where they are supposed to go with the healing itself. So you will be one that will be unique in the way that you work spiritually because it's your way. It's your way that spirit has chosen. You understand? I do. Thank you for that, Safena. Thank you, you so much. You are welcome, my child. Thank you, sister. And that's been a very good Q&A. Would anyone in the group like to say their final words to Safena? I'm just going to unmute every one of you. If you would like to say anything to Safena before she goes, then you're uh, completely allowed. Thank you very much, Safena. Bless you. Mm -hmm. Many blessings to you, Safena, and thank you for your wisdom. Bless you. Bless each and every one of you for those lovely words. My children, it is always a privilege, it is always an honour to come and use the vessel that is here before you, so I, through him, can speak to each and every one of you. I will say to you, as I have just spoken to the young lady previously, yep. he was chosen, he was chosen to work the way that he does. And he has opened up to the entities and the energies of spirit. He has learned to trust. He is not afraid to allow that of the spirits of truth to come through him. So mm -hmm. I am honored. There are not many like him within your earth plane that will do that. So you see, my children, I will say to you, I understand that your cue one day has come to an end. I am willing to use the vessel to speak to you. But I will say these words. Spread the word of spirit. Spread it by sharing upon your computer. And speak of how you feel, how you are growing, how you are progressing. Because that too is part of your journey of understanding of spirit. So I will now leave you and say I look forward to the next time we all meet. God bless you, my friends.